building infrastructure. The Greens never got behind HS2. Turns out Rishi Sunak agreed with you. Does that feel like a victory for the Green cause? Uh, no, uh, because we've always supported high-speed rail. And now I was on Sophie Ridge. Just not the actually existing high-speed rail. That's literally what Sophie Ridge said to me. She was like, you support high-speed rail, just not this one. And she tried to ridicule it. But also, I think it's a totally legitimate position. And I think it's a smart position. If you support something on, on principle or ideology, but then the practical thing that's replaced in front of you effectively turns Birmingham into a commuter town for London because you already have a train network there, but this is about making it a bit quicker, admittedly capacity too, but there's other ways to do that, then that's awful. I went on a tour of Wales recently, um, a, a campaign tour to go visit a lot of our councillors there and our members there. I was really aware that so many times I had to get a train into Wales to come back into England, to go back into Wales. The train infrastructure is awful. The north of England, I'm from Manchester. I think that's the north of England. I know if you are more north, you think I'm in the <laughs> You Midlands. have just opened a can yeah, yeah, of worms absolutely. in the comments, As I did my, it, my friend. was like, just don't do it. Um, but seriously, in the, the very north of England, train infrastructure is awful. That was the exact part of this scheme that we needed. And that was the scheme that was not as ecologically destructive as the route from Birmingham to London. So we've ended up in the situation. Is your position then that the building should have gone in reverse? So instead of from London outwards and northwards, it should have been from the north, from Wales, from other regions into London. That should have been the direction of building. Is that close? Key? I'd personally argue phase two needed to happen because we need those routes. I'm still not convinced that phase one, there was any need for it whatsoever at all. And actually, I think that has just been ecologically destructive to create a new train line that no one was really calling out for. I can't remember how much time it's saved, but it, it's negligible. On the point of high-speed rail more generally, though, yes, absolutely, we support high-speed rail. And again, it's that northern... When Boris Johnson... Oh gosh, I was about to say when Boris Johnson was right, which was a sentence where I was like, why am I saying that? But the levelling up agenda is the absolute right agenda. It's just completely the wrong agenda if you're combining it with austerity. And also you've got Rishi Sunak literally saying to constituents, I'm going to make sure in Tory marginals you're going to get the money in places that really need it aren't going to get it. The levelling up agenda, though, to say that there's mass regional inequality in our society is undeniable. And a huge part of that inequality is lack of transport infrastructure. That's both, yes, on the national level in terms of trade lines, but also, so sometimes a criticism from a London politician is, I'm not going to understand what it's like to live in a rural area. But those who live in zone six or seven of London, where the bus network and the tube network farmers is... Farmers is Yeah, yeah, exactly. Them. Well, yeah, farmers is another good example. London has... Oh, no, I think I was just cussing zone six. I'm oh. so sorry. <laughs> but you don't actually want to be seen agreeing with me on that. I, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't possibly ever. Um, but no, seriously, in, in those kind of outer, outer regions, they're, they're very often like rural regions. You know, it's very easy if you're in central London for me to cycle everywhere, which I, I generally do. But once you're in the places that have no cycle lanes, where if you need to get a bus, it's going to be expensive, it's not going to arrive, there's no bus stop that's comfortable, the, the bus journey is really expensive, it's cheaper to get in your private car, then all of those things are incentivizing people in the wrong direction. So ultimately, yes, we need this local infrastructure too.